All righty, we may well get started. Um, welcome everyone to the CubeVert community meeting. It is the 10th of April, 2024. Hopefully um, you can all hear me over the hubbub on the street outside. Um, let me know if you can't, I will close my windows. Um, normally we like to, um, um, well, we pause and let people who are interested um, um, introduce themselves. If you are new and you would, or you would like to introduce yourself this time, um, pop something into chat. And then after we've done the schedule and event check-ins, um, we can do introductions then. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for now, let's have a look at the schedule. What did I say? Okay, so we must be coming up to next week, the Kubernetes 1.30 release, um, which I was looking at here to see whether or not it has been moved at all. Nope, still on track, excellent. All righty, and nothing much for us until, until that happens. Always worth pointing out our feature freeze date of the 12th of June and our 1.3 release date of the 7th of July. Those them. Alrighty. Um, a couple of events I've updated here. The DevConf US um, CFP has been extended until April 22nd. So if you are in the general North American region or you will be there in August, um, that CFP is still open. Um, we've also got uh, KubeCon Cloud Native Con China, which will be in August. CFP is open until May 5th. Um, Kubert Summit, which I've, I'll talk to uh, talk about in a minute because it is on the agenda. And uh, KubeCon Cloud Native Con North America 2025, 2024 is in mid-November. The CFP is open now uh, until June 9th. Uh, so you still got a little while to get stuff ready for that. Um, as always, with any of these, um, if you've got uh, a half-baked idea and you're not entirely sure about, it, please feel free to ping me, uh, whether an email or Slack, um, and we can talk about it, or I can review a proposal. Let's get on. No one has uh, popped in the chat to say that they would like to introduce themselves. That's cool. Um, if you change your mind, um, yeah, I'll have a look at chat before we finish up. And you can say good day. Um, ah, excellent. We've got some things being added to the open floor. Um, all righty. Uh, Qubit Summit is going to be June 25th, 26th. The CFP is currently open. It would be really great if we were inundated with CFPs from people from the community, um, both the um, developers who work on features um, and also people who are implementing it on the other side of the fence, and also just generally from our end users. Um, we get a lot, of, um, a lot of people at the moment that we meet uh, at places like KubeCon at our booth are uh, in their initial phase, uh, the research and early implementation phase of incorporating KubeVert or seeing if it's right for them. I think it'd be really cool if this Qubit Summit, uh, we had some of our end users uh, talking about their specific journey, which might then be used to help uh, other, others kind of um, take on the project. Um, uh, yeah, so this is from me. There's, uh, you might've seen the emails uh, from Fabian about um, creating SIG charters. Um, I'd also like to um, sort of echo Daniel's email about labels. Um, so if you have put forward a SIG charter and you haven't seen that you, that SIG, particular SIG has a label in the labels YAML in the project infra repo, um, go check out his email um, uh, and create the PR to have it there. If people who either create PRs or, um, or review and approve PRs, if you could please start using the kind and SIG labels on the PRs. Uh, this is for two reasons. One, the SIG labels uh, really help identify the right people to be able to review it as this project um, grows and becomes more mature. This will help a lot in getting PRs reviewed. 
and it also um, uh, greatly simplifies and makes more accurate our release notes. It's still a manual process. It'd be really cool if this was an automated process. That kind of thing can only happen if we use uh, kind and sick labels to be able to sort those uh, release notes. So um, if they could be used, that would be uh, really awesome. Uh, uh, does anyone have any question about that? What are the typical, if we say slash kind, for example, what would be the valid um, labels for that? Very good question. Uh, we've got um, uh, API is a, a, a classic um, bug. Um, what's another one? What I'll do is um, I'm going to pass it over to Andre, and he's going to talk about uh, the stuff he's got on the open floor. I'll pull up the link, and I'll drop it into chat, um, which actually has much better examples than I can think of off the top of my head. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I just happy to announce that Kubernetes.io blog uh, has published my articles about how we prepare our uh, virtualization platform using just uh, open source tools. The first part is about a uh, basic layer, like we use Talos Linux for uh, as immutable files, as, as minute, immutable operating system for running kubevirt and many other technologies. Uh, the second part is more about virtualization, how you can turn your Kubernetes into virtualization with all the technologies around it. We use Kubo VN for uh, networking and LinStore for storage. And the third part is how to turn it to run uh, tenant Kubernetes clusters using kubevirt and uh, Kamaji um, using cluster API. Thank you. I'm just. Uh, I, ju I just wanted to uh, introduce this. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, thank you very much for sharing with that. That's great. Yeah, I hope just uh, I just hope that uh, this will bring new contributors to such projects like uh, Kubeirt controller, um, cloud controller manager, and Kubeirt CSI as well, and will heat up interest to Kubeirt. Amazing. And hopefully, we'll be seeing something from you uh, at Kubeirt Summit. Yeah, I would like to talk about this subject as well. Uh, I will prepare CP in a while and I'll send it to you. Wonderful. Because Thank you. also those articles have a lot of uh, beautiful charts, uh, how things work and how components are communicating with each other. I think it might be pretty useful for everyone. Will Kubeweird Summit be online or offline event? It will be virtual again. Uh-huh, got it. Yeah. Um, awesome. Cool. And we've got um, Daniel has put in the list of uh, kind, and I've put in a link to um, more information about the release notes as well. Pull requests, uh, unless anyone has any questions uh, for Andre. All righty, one pull request. Uh, let's see if anyone's had a look at it. They have not. Um, fixing the Nick Hod plug issues. There's two release notes here. This looks like it is a PR for the networking team. I did see Aurel was here. Is he still here? Yes, I'm here. Uh, does this look like something I can tag you, or is this more on the compute side of things? 
think you could tag uh, Eddie or Alona, they would be better suited to handle it. Perfect. I see Alona's already tagged as reviewer, so I will just add, uh, is Eddie here? He is. Now, with your consent, And a couple of bugs. Uh, apart from um, Daniel's email here, I didn't really see anything that hasn't been relatively well covered. Uh, this could be interesting, but I'll leave people to look at that in their own time. Uh, three bugs here. or. Already. You know, I looked at it. Okay, it looks as though they might be handling this themselves. Just have a quick look. I think this person uh, created the PR this morning to handle this issue. Uh, okay, perfect. In which case. We don't need to look at it now. Thank you. Check in. Okay. Still has been answered. Uh, GPU related metrics data exposed by DCMG export does not include the launcher pod with the GPU bound. Um, hmm. Is there anyone on the call that I can tag to have a, a closer look at this bug bug linked to GPU related metrics? Let's see. Uh, you can tag me. I'm, I'm not sure I can uh, solve it, but I'll take a look. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, at, yeah, it's, that looks like it. Exactly. I'm getting better at remembering people's handles. And last one. See if anyone's here. All righty, this looks like slow networking speed in Kubert VM. Multi network attachment. OVS. I wonder if Miguel is on the line. He is not. Um, Arel, does this look like something I can tag Miguel? Tag me. Tag me and I'll contact the team or Miguel directly. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. That brings us to the bottom of that. Um, I'll just jump up to the very top. Um, So, like, is, did you want to? I uh, see you've written something into chat. Uh, did you want to um, introduce yourself verbally in the, this, or are you happy just living in the chat? Hi. Um, yeah, it's fine for what I just wrote in the chat. That basically summarizes the whole thing. Um, I'd like to thank Alexander 
Wells in particular for um, helping me. And um, I'm, I'm kind of dreading making this PR, but I must do it. So thank you very much for all your encouragement. You're very welcome. And thanks for joining us here. All right, that is, uh, that's it for today. That's all we've got here. Uh, unless anyone has anything uh, or something they'd like to bring up or a question they'd like to ask uh, before we all depart, uh, now is your chance to chime in. Alrighty, short meeting. Thank you very much for everyone for being here and for contributing to the project. Um, hopefully you all have a wonderful day, a lovely weekend, and we hope to see you next week. And we also hope to see some CFPs uh, for the Cubert Summit um, and also ideas for, Q for the upcoming Cube Guns. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.